And as Roswell is picking up the pieces, the school district is working to get kids back in the classroom. But it could be a while since the storm damaged the district's school buses. News 13's Gabe Chavez has an update. You know, we were really fortunate as a school district. The biggest storm in recorded Roswell history has had an immense impact on the city, its infrastructure, and its schools. I've lived here my whole life, and I've, I've seen some pretty good storms roll through, but I've never seen anything that had that kind of an impact on our community. Superintendent Brian Luck says this weekend's storm did not damage any of the schools, but the same can't be said for the district's buses. Yeah, I think we've pulled just about everything you can from the engine compartments on these buses to the, you know, just the little nooks and crannies that are underneath them. They've they've had to hand pick most of that out. Cleanup efforts are underway, but there's still concerns over whether it's safe for buses to operate some roads and bridges even being washed out by the flooding. We've got a lot of bridges that potentially could have been impacted uh, with some, some of the rising water and the debris that hit them. In the meantime, schools are closed, but the district is providing meals for students to help ease the strain on families. We will start tomorrow with grab and go. It's a breakfast lunch combo that they pick up from 10 to 12. Uh, tomorrow uh, starts at all of the schools. So at our locations, which actually makes it easier for people within the community to get to their schools. As for extracurriculars, the district is working out how to accommodate as some sports were scheduled to have games this week. We're making arrangements to try to come up with other modes of transportation for them uh, to, so that they can continue with their events and to try to minimize the disruptions as much as possible. Gabe Chavez, KRQE, News 13. Roswell schools are closed tomorrow. The district is still evaluating when they'll have students back in the classroom. They're also considering a shift to online learning.